A car's broken down. I can see that, smart one. What are you waiting for? Fix it. I don't know how to fix cars. What were you doing all those times Dad was showing you how to fix cars? Sleeping. That's just great, Zach. We have to get it fixed. Maybe we can ask those nice ladies for help. I'll eat you if that's what it takes. Something tells me they won't be much help, Prudence. Sure they can. Prudence... Hey, lady! Oh, God. Hey! Yeah, yeah, you in the green. Can you help us? Hi, I'm Misty. You two looking for a good time? I think we all like good times, but we were actually wondering if you could help us with our car. Oh, sure. One of my favorite clients, Joey, owns a garage. He could fix this right up for you. One of your clients? Uh Uh-huh. What kind of a client Where's is Where's his garage? Right around the corner. I can take you to him if you want. That'd be great. Your engine is completely shot. You're gonna need a whole new motor. How much will that cost? 5000 Holy sh**! We can't afford that. Come on, Joey. There's some nice kids. Get them a discount, huh? Here's what I can do. How's about you two do me a favor and I'll knock half the price off for you? What kind of a favor? It's real simple. There's a special car out back. I want you to take that car, park it outside Marco's Bistro in Portland, and walk away. That's it? That's it. Something doesn't feel right about this, Prudence. Zach, it's just dropping off a car. What's the harm in that? Are you two in or not? We'll do it. And this is the place. Now what? Uh, we just walk away like Joey said, I guess. My mother's my sister! You know, that Joey guy must be very lazy if he didn't want to park his own car. Don't you think he was kind of weird? Weird how? I don't know. He kind of reminded me of those mobster guys you see on TV. Zack, he's a mechanic. I doubt he's a freaking mobster. What the hell was that? Sounded like a firework. That's a really big firework, Prudence. It's gotta be those illegal fireworks. What the- what are these stars? Who cares? I just want to get out of the city before things get more weird. And it just got more weird. You two the ones who did the job for Joey? Uh... Yeah? Good. Get in. We don't even know you. I'm a friend of the family. Get in the car. Well, if you're a friend of Joey's, why not? Prudence, no. Come on, Zach. Ooh, this is nice. Zach, you gotta see this Damn it. Just wait here. So, you're the dude that pulled off that job at the bistro, huh? Yeah, I mean... Just parking a car. Wasn't that hard. You're exactly what I'm looking for. Listen, I'll throw some cash away if you can help me out. If it's easy like Joey's job, sure. Excellent. Some of my girls around town, they've been getting spanked from this Diablo goon. I want you to take care of this problem. Oh, definitely. Can't have your girls getting spanked like that. If you need a piece, it's stashed behind ammunition. A piece of what? I have no idea. Where's my damn tools? That's not a real gun. That's a real gun, Prudence. There's no way. It's gotta be a prop. Okay, this is all getting kind of freaky. Hmm, it's kind of heavy. I'll give them that. First we're sent on these random missions, and now there's a gun involved? The detail in this is insane. Prudence, will you put that down, damn it? A cop might see you. Fine. Jeez. Heh. <laughs> Prudence, you could have hurt somebody. How was I supposed to know it would go off? Because it's a freaking gun. I doubt I hurt anyone, Zack. Look, forget this job. I say we ditch and go somewhere to plan a way out of this crap. We've got to get out of this city right now. We can't. What do you mean we can't? How, Zack? How are we going to leave the city? I don't know. We'll take a bus or a cab or something. Mom will kill us if we don't come back with the car. Plus, the bridge out of the city is shut down for some reason and won't be open until later today. Great. You just had to open your mouth and get us into this mess. What mess? Everything has been fine. Plus, we're getting paid. You shot a gun. It went off by itself. Hey, you two. Hi. You Prudence and Zach yeah, never we heard are. of them. What? Yes, we are Prudence and Zack. Who are you, Mr... Tony, I own this place. Oh, well, it's a 
Nice location. Your pizza sucks. Zach! What? It's true. I've heard good things about you, so I'll let that wisecrack slip. My boss, Salvatore, wants to meet you too. Why? He's heard about your work. All we did was park a f***ing car. Sure, sure. I park cars too. What? Heard you guys need money. My boss could hook you up with the gravy you need. Give us a second. I don't know about gravy, but we need that cash. No, no, and no. What if it's just another easy job, like parking a car? No, Prudence. We're not going. I hate you. This is a nice place you've got here, mistress. Thanks, kid. I've heard a lot about you. Oh yeah, she can park a mean car. Shut up, bitch. My driver instructor said I was top of my class when I got my license. No. Hey. Let's get down to business. This is Colombian cartel whore Catalina who's been pushing her stuff on my tough. I want her taken out. Taken out where? I like your spirit, kid. I say jump and you say how high. It's gonna get you far. Um... I've got it set up so that she thinks she's meeting with out-of-state business partners. And that's where you two come in. We're the business partners? Exactly. You get in our house, and you take her out. Uh, okay. Sounds simple, I guess. So where's Catalina? Just waiting here, comprende? It's Prudence. Wow. This lady must be really rich. Look at this place! I have a bad feeling about this. What else is new? Prudence, did you not hear that guy? He said Colombian cartel. Do you know what that means? Zach, come on. These people are dealing drugs. Cartel could stand for a lot of things. It's a shipment, a cartel of furniture. I don't think you get a house like this selling furniture, Prudence. Look, just calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. Hey, what is going on here? Are you Catalina? Yeah, that's me. Who are you two? Prudence and Zach. We're here to take you out. What? Yeah, where do you want to go? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you telling me this? Telling you what? You were sent here to take me out, so why would you tell me this? Oh, sh**. Was that supposed to be a surprise? Way to go, Prudence. I know what's going on. You two were sent here by that idiot Salvador, weren't you? Yeah. And he wanted you to take me out? That was the plan. But you snitched because you wanted to work for me instead. Well, that's not exactly why You we... chose the right side, amigos. Whatever that dumbass is paying you, I'll pay you double. Seriously? Yes. That still wouldn't be enough to pay for the car. Car? Yeah, our car's broken down at Joey's and we don't have the cash to pay for it. Tell you what, I have an inside man, Curly Bob. I'll give him the cash to pay for your car and have it dropped here within hours. That would be great! What's the catch? I need you to take care of my ex-boyfriend, Claude. I've called him for a meeting here later. Okay, yeah, we'll take him anywhere. We'll be doing an exchange outside and when I say goodbye, lover, I want you to take him out. By surprise? Of course. Are you two armed? Yeah, we have arms. That's a dumb question. It'd be kinda hard to drive without arms, Catalina. Good. We strike in two hours. Oh! That must be the briefcase full of money that Catalina was talking about. This doesn't look shady at all. Oh, Claude. All you had to do was stay out of the way. But it's too late now. Goodbye, lover! Surprise! Surprise! What the hell are you two idiots doing? Take him out! It's not nice to yell. Rude. What is happening? Let's get out of here! Do you want to talk about it? No.